Hi, this is Benjamin, founder of Farm Again. Recently, I happened to meet up with a farmer who raised a question. The technology you're promoting uh, is already there in Europe, in Western countries, and what is so unique about your technology? It actually kind of shocked me, and I had to spend about two hours explaining how we are first in many segments in the world. And I'm going to summarize that in a nutshell to you in the next few minutes. First point, Farm Again is the first precision farming company recognized by National University of Singapore. Second, we were the first precision technology partner officially engaged by the government of Indonesia to provide them technology and consultancy on precision farming. We were the first precision farming technology ag tech startup to be recognized as one of the top 100 innovators of India in year 2023. Grotron is the first technology created by a farmer for farmers. I, as a farmer from 2013, uh, based on my experience, I was trying to solve my own challenges that I faced in farming. That's how Grotron uh, was actually created. The fifth, Grotron is the first technology created based on the principles of evapotranspiration science. And in fact, we did research, patented, and based on our, uh, the outcome, we actually developed Grotron. Sixth, Grotron is the first platform to use artificial intelligence to predict the right pattern of irrigation to ensure the root zone is kept at optimal moisture so that the plants grow optimally. And also a very important point, the seventh, Grotron is perhaps the only tool that can help in organic and regenerative farming because one of the key things about organic and regenerative farming is about soil rejuvenation. One of the key aspects of that happens to be that if you are able to increase photosynthesis, the excess sugar produced by the plant that is not required for any other function by the plant is sent to the root zone. Therefore, Grotron helps in enhancing photosynthesis. Therefore, it is one of the best companions for farmers engaged in organic and regenerative farming. The eighth, Grotron is the very first platform and perhaps the only platform to move away from this concept of valve-centric automation to crop-centric crop management because it is not a valve uh, automation platform. It is a crop management platform. The ninth point, fatigation was not new to the world. But before we came in, the fatigation was all in time slices. But that's not how the plant really needs. An agronomist would come and say, I want uh, two kilograms of fertilizer to be given to this place or one kilogram to that place. So we made the system in a way it can actually listen to that agronomist and supply based on the scientific methods, not a time slice. The next tenth point, ECPH balancing was also not new. There were two companies from, uh, from different countries who were doing that. But Grotron actually made it as an integral part of the whole system. And uh, we were able to do real-time ECPH correction and we very strongly promote this in vertical farming and in uh, polyhose cultivation. Eleventh point, while fertigation has been around for decades, everybody was happy and content with the cylindrical and the flat bottom tanks uh, for fertigation. But for me, I really couldn't manage the sediments that was uh, at the bottom of uh, the fertigation tanks, which is why we came out with conical shape tank where the uh, the fertilizers are taken out from a side and the sediments are captured at the bottom. And again, we were the first to do that. Point number 12, you have automation, including fertigation. So there is always a confusion with the farmer as to how much of uh, fertilizer is in the tank, when we should fill it. So what Grotron really does is that it actually calculates how much is in the tank and reports it on the app. And also it calculates how much is needed for the next few days to few weeks and sends out an alert to the farmer to fill in as required. Again, we are the first. Point number 13, backwash again is not new. There are sophisticated backwash systems, but not every farmer can really go for it. So what we did was we introduced pressure sensors and based on the pressure differential, we started doing auto backwash. And again, we are the very first in doing that. Point number 14, we are the first company to give traceability to our farmers. And that traceability will actually give great visibility into their growing patterns to end consumers, thereby creating a greater trust. Point number 15, we are the first technology and the only technology to give an automation solution for alternate wetting and drying in paddy fields. Point number 16, Grotron is the first product that also integrates the actual energy consumed, the units consumed. It is very key for us to know how green we are. Point number 17, we are also the first company to actively calculate the carbon credits. It may not be of great use today, but eventually it could become a deal for the farmers where they may be able to benefit based on the carbon credit, uh, the reduction in carbon emission that they contribute to. Point number 18, we are the first company to introduce wireless valve controllers in 2018. It did not exist anywhere in the world by then. Back then, if there was any farm automation from the central control room, there were wiring drawn to all the valves around the field. We were the first one to actually make it 
totally wire free and uh, draw the power for valves also from sunlight and uh, we were also the first one to introduce LoRaWAN communication in farming segment in the world. We were the first. Point number 19, we are also the first one to introduce Grotron with complete grid independent operation. We don't need any electricity. The 20th and the last point is that it is a little bit of a technical point, but Grotron is the first technology that does not use any electromechanical part in the motherboards. Why is it important? Because it reduces power consumption greatly. And because we are talking about being green, being uh, emission free, this becomes very important for us to focus on this as well. So these are some of the things that we can claim as first in the world. These are the 20 points that came to my mind as pioneers in the world where we did these things for the first time before anybody else can even think of. Basically, we are a company with a very strong DNA for R&D. We don't really worry about competition, how do we compete with them and sell, but rather we focus on what we have as a solution today, what is needed probably in the next two years, three years, five, ten years, and focus our energy on creating new solutions, new innovations towards the future needs. And therefore, we walk ahead, we try to be the leaders in this segment, probably number one in the world, um, and we will continue to be like that. That's my promise. I hope the information I shared in this video was useful to you. If you think this will be of use to some of your friends, please do share with them. And if you would like to get notified and uh, would like to watch our videos first, please do subscribe. Until I see you in another video, see you.